What's up guys? This is the Rofeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And to pick up where we left off, we're going to attack this small Dutch force to get hold of this first trade ship of the line. So let's go take them out. And then we are going to cash in on the brig and use that to help uh, keep our forces in tip-top condition. We are sneaking our way up the Iberian Peninsula. The idea being to... Uh, Start to choke off the Dutch's access to global markets. See if we can uh, convince them. Well, not convince them. Let's hopefully we can strangle their economy such they start to see some attrition um, of their armies in the field. So I know the AI does cheat to a certain degree when it comes to income. But they have a, a significant number of troops in the field. So... There's only so much money they get given through the AI and their various shenanigans. So I'm hoping that if we advance up through the to the west coast of Europe and we start to push more in towards France, we can block off the channel, we can block off their access to trade to the New World. And just a second, everyone. Yep, sorry, had to clear my nose out there. It's pretty gross. Uh, anyway, so we've got this heavy frigate, which will... I mean, we will sell it. We don't need it. Uh, it's this fella back here that we do want. So I'm probably going to keep the uh, time compression high until the first straight ship of the line enters play zone. Because until that happens... It's just going to be this heavy brig just having a rather miserable time. Let's sail this fella up ahead to try and block it off. We've got some chain shot because at the very least we want this fella to surrender so that we can cash in. We don't want it to sink. The mizzen's gone. My intention was just to block off the sea in front of her. There we go. So she is now dismasted. So the rest of my ships can get an order, can give, can receive an order to sail into a more traditional position. Okay, here we go. You want to be blasting a chain. And the rest of these ships are going to try and sail across behind her. Haven't been lucky. No immediate masts, masts lost. Although heavy, heavy first pre is having a go. Pour it on her. Bring her out of commission. We're going to suck up some significant fire because she's a first rate ship of the line. Foremast is gone. The main mast is gone. The uh, mizzen's gone. Sorry, not our main. Switch you to round shot because then you can fire your shots. She's on fire, wavering. She's lost her main. And she surrendered. Excellent. With very little damage done to our ships. I think we've only got this second. Might have well, actually no. To be honest, all our guns look, look in pretty good shape. Nice. Let's bring her back to Gibraltar for repair and refit. So we don't want the heavy frigate, we want the first rate. Excellent. I mean, you sit, you, you act like your ship's in perfect shape, but she isn't. Let's bring her back. 
Let's bring this shit back to occupy some of the ground up here towards Porto. Let's go to Sandy Bay, relieve you of your fourth rate ship of the line, and give you a first rate ship. Well, the two, <laughs> your admirals are fourth rates. Let's get that admiral out of there. Let's pick this Dutch ship. I can't promote an admiral because you have no money. But yeah, I think you're going to be the start of a fourth rate fleet. Got plenty of stuff. Oh, hello. You can still be upgraded. Let's upgrade you to trade port. Let's. Take one of the sloops out of Cartagena. Oran. Good stuff. We're still sieging Madrid. But because you haven't got the cash, we're not going to really do anything. Just a second again, everyone. Hmm. Wonder if I might have a cold coming on. Um, okay. So, yeah, we're going to keep sieging Madrid. We're going to keep... We want to rebuild our forces here in Cagliari. As much as we can. Then land in Bastia take out new spain keep growing our naval strength here in the east as well but i do want to start expanding in in the americas as well actually to try and really make my economic might as powerful as it possibly can be so let's see see gibraltar not gibraltar the dutch are building up significant forces in northern italy i think it would be Incredibly dangerous to attempt to try and break through. What is more achievable, I think, is to gain mastery of the Americas and then surround Europe with significant naval forces to prevent them from being able to ship forces overseas. We've got a lot of territory in South America we can take. We've got a lot of territory in the Caribbean, North America. There's a whole lot of things we could do. But fundamentally, we do need to keep a strong front against the Dutch. Because when they choose to push, we may experience significant pushback. So, Europe, let's hop over to here. Yeah, the rebels nearly made it back to Lisbon. So, this army just... Yeah, just auto resolve that engagement. You guys replenish. Let's upgrade our rec recruitment capacity here. Ooh, you're going to upgrade to a craft workshop because we're already getting a madrasa. We can upgrade the weaver's cottage here and repair Porto. Both these armies are in perfect condition. So this navy, let's pick the heavy first rate. Upgrade you to an admiral. So it's a Dutch captured vessel. We can get one more ship. Get a second rate. Four more turns until the next upgrade is done. So let's get a handful of seconds and thirds recruited. The fleet arrives. Hmm. Ah, some Spanish. Fourths, war galleons that are all a bit damaged. I mean, I think we can auto that engagement. So you're going to take one of the trade posts. Let's put a... Well, first of all, let's put a Mysorean stamp on these three areas. Then... You can cancel your naval recruitment. We can get you out to East Africa. Your recruitment's ongoing. As is yours. As is yours. Paul Bandar. Screw an admiral. That's a good selection of more ships. Lots of good top-tier industrial buildings have been built. Sardinia can get the next level commercial port. Let's keep 
the punishment of this army going. 26,000. Upgrade the farms here in Algiers. Keep these skirmishes pushing up to Grish Rivedi. We will want to take out the Moroccans. But I want to hop back to India and see how the, how goes the recruitment. Because you're not going anywhere anymore because you lost your orders. Got a couple of farm upgrades we can do here in India. So we'll get a few of those and a one water power cloth mill purchase. But chiefly you need one more unit which will be a... Well, in doubt, Hindu Musketeers. Well, then, let's pick a Hindu Musketeer unit to generate our general. Doesn't really make much difference. Let's get some more troops on the go. 7,600. We've got plenty of navies. So, in terms of trade regions, I mean... Okay, let's send a Spanish ship here, a heavy frigate. What I might want to do is let's recruit some Admiral, Admiral's flagships third rates and create some third, fourth and fifth squadrons to go out and pick these little fights rather than deploying first... Well, rather than deploying battle fleets to attack individual warships. I spy on the move up to Paris. So this Admiral's gained some bonuses, although he is quite a superb Admiral. Let's... Okay, so you got shot and shot and you've gone back to Quickline, but Quickline's not super useful to us. You make it on time. I mean, machine rifling doesn't really help either. Top gallants would help. Yeah, we can't recruit howitzers. Same thing with percussion shells. We're not really bothered. Mortars are, mortars are rubbish. Okay, so one more unit, and then you're going to be complete. What we're going to want to do is take this fella. Well, when... Hmm. Okay, what I'm tempted to do... When we take Madrid, we will send an army to take that Spanish island. Then we will go ahead and... Well, when that second army is ready, we'll attack New Andalusia and we will also attack that last Spanish holding in the Caribbean as well. Although, we, to be honest, we could just fight. You can be really careful with these mortars. So I'm going to hit N10. Keep attriting them. We may as well. We've got the advantage of time. Naval forces are still building up in the Caribbean. So they're a Dutch fleet. And a larger Dutch fleet in main harbour. We want to go after uh, this port. This ship was booted out. So that's a fleet I would like to engage. Very damaged. And a number of capital ships I would like. Oh, they lost two ships. But my sloop was captured. Hopefully she stay. they stay at sea. Nope, they've recovered back in port. So that's exactly what I mean about... <coughs> Sorry. One getting, wanting to get a naval advantage. In that I can then just block... I can stick them into... Well, they're, they're, they're vulnerable. Yes, yeah, so stuff like this as well. The Prussians, when they start kicking off... They're going to be incredibly difficult to stop. We're going to need just to keep pouring... Army after army after army after army into, in them... Just to keep wearing them down. 
Okay, go back. Nice one, Quebec. Interchangeable parts. Excellent. So now... Which you complete. Let's get you embarked. Shipped over to the Americas. Let's recruit a couple, a few, actually only two sloops. Two will do. Palatian States. Your recruitment's ongoing. Lee destroyed. This looks like a very grandiose term for one ship. That fleet's much less enticing. So it looks like the Dutch are going to keep raiding. So let's send yeah. this army northward to counter that force. That, that force potentially coming along and raiding Spanish positions because we want those positions. Excellent. We can bring this trade fleet across. Take position on the node. So are you recruiting? Yeah, you're doing the recruiting. You're recruiting first rates. Let's keep my naval expansion going. Okay, let's recruit a sloop here. Trading port in Algiers. The roads are going up, growing. Santo Domingo. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Well, well. Come along, Dilip. We've got things to do. So let's take you. I oh, know I need to ship you along, embark, land in Martinique. So then the fleet can go back to San Juan. We can upgrade the road infrastructure in Santo Domingo. Good. Then we've got steam powered sugar mill. So then this army disembark or embark rather and land at Caracas which is fortified with reinforcements. Or your army. We have been intercepted but we will be fighting them on the ground outside of the walls and the garrison will be coming in to reinforce them so we're going to want to do this very carefully we're not going to want to be uh too badly attrited in this engagement so hold the lines hold the lines force them back and hopefully we can damage them enough that they they will recruit we'll regroup into the city and they'll fill up all their recruitment slots with depleted units Okay, so potentially useful terrain feature. Ultimately, we're going to want to be fighting a standard defensive battle. So you're deployed. Deploy another set of guns. Deploy two units, including my Sikhs. And this bugged gun team is going to deploy at the rear. And lob shells at their artillery. And we're going to deploy... Be 
and you are deployed to Royal Indian Infantry Guards. To be honest, let's keep them all clustered together. And we've got, yeah, you're deployed. So then behind the lines, we've got a massive block of melee troops. They're able to respond at a moment's notice. Split the cavalry. We're going to want to play very defensive. Okay. Okay, everyone, all my gunners just open up on their guns. Fired short. I don't know, do we play defensive or do we play like a horde? We might play like a horde. I think those guns are just gonna pick us off otherwise. The semi musketeers engage the light cavalry, although. Come on, audio, catch up. My horsemen. Oh, and they're also going after my pikes as well, which is not ideal. I don't know. Sometimes it kind of feels that works, but it kind of jumps in and out however it chooses. There we go. It's when you get the, uh, the selection icons. When units make a noise when you've selected them, you know you're good. Okay, we are going to hoard this up. Should really have done from the get-go. And as far as melee troops are concerned, some of them are going to sit behind the lines, but others are going to... chase them down. Let's come on nomads, go for those light cavalry. Yeah, my camels will do a real number on the light cav. They're attempting to go for my infantry formations. My light cavalry will catch them as well. See, musketeers are on the flank already. Skirmish cavalry in against the colonial lights. Form your battle line. Form square, bring in the pikes, counter charge. There you go, so now my these are my guard infantry that are hammering these musket volleys home. Pikemen are going to do a real number on the light cow. Camel nomads and so on. Charge the 8th regiment the foot. Form square. Islamic swordsmen counter charge. There go the 11th light horse. They're shattered. Get out of formation. Blast them. Guards advance with great prejudice, prejudice. Horsemen charge down these enemy infantry units that are not yet broken. They tried to form square, but they have since been repulsed. Keep forming square. Keep slaughtering them. We 
advance up my infantry. But your job is to just... There you go. It's just to shatter. It's not to kill. We're not going to be that effective. There we go. You men pivot, you men form the new front line. Where's my camels? Native War Auxiliary, eh? Pull my cavalry out of the town. Islamic swordsmen push up. There we go. There. The enemy's already been dealt with. The first army, anyway. Charge the light cavalry, send my melee troops in to help with the slaughter. There we go. Keep my infantry running out. There we go, Islamic swordsmen. Deal with a native unit, which they most assuredly will. Islamic swordsmen are just very good infantry units. Okay, the colonial light cavalry is now bogged down by both enemy by, by, by my light cavalry and now my Islamic swordsmen have made it into the action so they're already in desperate trouble there colonial pikemen so let's keep my infantry unit out or my, my cavalry unit out of that engagement Send more pikemen. Because it looks like they, they're going to consolidate or they're going to reinforce their initial failure with more failure. Get my skirmish cavalry out of here. They can fight the 23rd Regiment while both my pikemen and Islamic swordsmen just go to town on the 5th Regiment of Horse. I mean, if they don't hurry up, they're going to get targeted by my skirmishes too or well, by my line my main battle line actually there we go cavalry get out of there my right, swordsmen back yourselves up pikemen back up human attack here general get into the get into position those pikemen are going very wide These men, let's actually push the pikes, force them to commit or go home. The gunners limber up and get into a better position. Native musket and auxiliary, colonial line. Are they waiting for this last fella to reload? <laughs> More cavalry coming in. Skirmish cavalry, go get them. Push my camels. So if they let charge, they will be readily surrounded and shot. You're going to kill the 23rd Regiment, which is handy. Redeploy my artillery to the new gun line. They fear my camels. They do fear my camels. Musketeers reload. Kizobashi. Keep pivoting. My line's looking fairly good, but it could be better. Melee troops push up. 
Come on, you meant there's two more infantrymen to kill. Okay, they've been dealt with. Colonial pikemen shaken. Let's charge my camels in. We'll try and they're wavering, so a camel charge might be enough to break them. No, it is not. Keep running. Come on, Kizabashi, reload. Bodyguards gonna try and charge. Keep running. Charge down the general's bodyguard. Ah, see warriors, you'd be real handy about now. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. People say I like to micromanage my armies, and they're damn right. There's always somewhere better for your men to be. Yeah, the camels go for general bodyguard. These two units can just continue to screen against the pikes. So the camels will deal with the general's bodyguard. Skirmishes go for the native bone auxiliary. There comes the enemy guns. Go get him, Islamic swordsman. See the bowmen. Ah, oh, they're not bad. There's definitely a cost to shuffling these troops around all the time because it means they have to restart their firing drills and so on. But for the most part, it's, it's fine. Go for the gunners. Bring in the pikes. Because, yeah, the actual enemy army is in flight. The nice pikemen came back. Swordsmen just charge in, to be honest. Everyone get involved, including the elites. So you go for the general's bodyguard, send someone else to chase down the routing men. Because here comes what we call collapse. I admire your initiative, fella, but it went you went the wrong way. Such a massive variety of units. Chased away the colonial pikes. Yep, yeah, there they there go the enemy infantry as well. sent them scattering let's end it there we could chase them down but i want some of the fragments to survive to block up their city it looks like demand the city <laughs> oh their men have fled and there is no recourse their people know who will protect them now we can get rid of this fishery while we're at it. Nice. I mean, I bet I'd like to, but I bet I can't. Uh, minus six. No, I, I can't. Well, I can go up there. No, stay in there for now. Cultivate a bit of goodwill. Okay, let's upgrade steam powered sugar mill. Let's check our infrastructure in the Americas is relatively... Tip top. 
that's that. Now we're back over to Europe already. Yep, still continuing to siege Madrid, although to be honest, should probably just attack. This is why you have giant armies like this. Let's do this. <laughs> that was a quick turnaround. Eh, should we attack Madrid? Eh, to, yeah, you know what? Screw it. This is why you've got big armies. And this is what you're here to see. Let's smash all the walls down. And let's... Let's just take them apart piece by piece. We're going to make our breaches. We're going to swarm... I think this ugh, terrain's a bit lame. What is interesting to do is we have a great gun on one side making breaching positions. We have another a battery of 24 pounders elsewhere making breaches for a second on a second front and then we divvy up our forces for a two front attack they can't protect all of the all of the breaches at once so sipahi one unit elephant musketeers or another. I can see the terrain changing here. It looks really ugly. <laughs> so you men. You men make a start here. You men make a start here. And then let's speed forward. Let's speed up time. Gunners. Hey, there we go. See, I don't imagine they'll match the 24 pounders, but. Oh, they're all stuck in the center. Got a lot of cavalry, lancers, conquistador, horse grenadier guards. And the intention is to make multiple breaches, although it looks like the great guns are actually not being very efficient compared to multiple batteries of 24 pounders. Who'd have thunk it? They're going to lose a chunk of their militia. <laughs> and if you aim for the armed citizenry, if you can, from your high position, no, you cannot. Can you aim for? If I give you a target of that section of wall. You will try and destroy it. Well, there we go. I mean, they will, they will hit this piece to try and get to it, but I'll take that. Meanwhile, the grey guns, they're not working. Short. What about the other shot? On target. 6% per hit, potentially. Aspirationally. Yeah, we are getting some hits on this central piece. So if the grey guns can keep it up. And not fire short. Should have quite a few different entry points to get in. Swiss Grenadiers, Garrison Line, Armed Citizenry. Mortars, many, many cavalrymen. I wonder though, aspirationally, 
These 24 pounders can aim at this section of the fort. Technically, a smart decision is to attack here. Destroy this section of the wall, because they can't escape from down here, but focus on this section collectively. And if we can destroy this section, all of these men are stuck on top of the walls. Which I think is a superb idea. Well, it depends on... Can these gunners actually aim at that target? They can! Yeah, they are aiming at it, but let's see if they're hitting it. They are. So some of them are hitting the indestructible section. But that'll do. As long as some get through, and we are still hitting this with the great gun. Well, let's just keep speeding up time. 65%. I mean, if, if we get away with this, then that's... Okay, Ooh, it looked like the AI was figuring it out for a minute there. I think they will work it out. Because, yeah, they can't get down off this section. Okay, let's let my... Well, there we go. So they're all trapped. Nice work, AI. The great gun. Keep chipping away at that section. It's a much easier enemy opposition to deal with. Because you guys are stuck. Will these guys keep engaging the men, st the men stuck on the wall? It doesn't look like it. If I make them attack a section of the wall behind them... We're starting to chug because they're trying to... They've, they've worked out things have gone wrong. So the idea is if I aim at the section of the wall... Oh no, wrong one. If I aim at the section of the wall behind them... If they land short... Oh no, they are actually lobbing shells over perfectly to hit that section. The AI is aware. Chaos is abound. First Lance of Guard. Because yet yeah, all these guys are they're all stuck up here. You can do you can attempt what you like. But the end will come for you. It's armoured lances and it's chugging because they're trying to work out what they're gonna do. So, Hindi Musketeers, secure the gate. There you go, that's a section destroyed with more men lost. Islamic swordsmen, get in. Get these Islamic swordsmen ready, push through one breach. And there go the Lancers. Made a lot of gaps. And soon, when we're ready, we'll knock out this section as well. Yeah, there we go. And that's what you expect to happen as well. Mortars. You guys are scared of them big time. And again. They'll probably come back because they're so they've lost so few men. But it's an important factor. Let's 
Cease fire the guns. Yeah, they routed as well. Waters, man. Form square. So there we go. So we are going to... We are involved in a combat, and not beneficial one, because it's musketeers chiefly. But yeah, it's the uh, the impact of mortars should not, never, ever be underestimated. So even when stuff like this happens, and they decide, oh, we can come back. More Dragoon Guards. These guys are going to be wavering. Yep, yeah, they're wavering. So you men go after the armed citizenry. Conquistador are likely going to cause some upset. Are these Hindu Musketeers to attack up the wall. Here's Obashi get inside. Get people inside. So you men were going to scale the wall and fire muskets down into the centre. And you are going to continue with that strategy. My horsemen have returned. My sapahi can charge the armed citizenry. No, charge the arm can conquistador. We want to charge both of them. But yeah, the idea is that things are tricky. Things are dangerous. You men get involved. You men charge the conquistador. These Kizobashi run up the wall. Although it looks like it's going to run inside. Just give everyone orders to get in. Trying to get elephants in. There you go, the mortar units are going down. You men engage the provincial militia. You men secure the gatehouse. The this could have been a lot more problem problematic if these guys are running around. Well, that's what happens when the AI allows you to do stuff. You do stuff. See, we're we are intermittently getting access to only the centre, but it's because there's an occasional conquistador that's involved screwing with our plans. Elephant musketeers secure the centre while everyone surround these remaining Spaniards in the breach. So much dead. There we go. So now the breach is ours. Warmer, a ring of steel. You men are nearly all on top of the ball. You can get involved in some gunplay against the 12th Regiment. They've lost half their men. How about you? We 
Will you actually throw Pikmin off the wall? You will. Ooh, good shot. Boom! Bang on! The general is going to lash them in musket balls. Too bad. Too bad for them. See, the Hindu Musketeers and so on are not good troops, but God, when you just you just swarm, 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 they can't kill us fast enough. Got this colonialist swine being shuffled around. You know, he's shuffling towards the line. Will a Hindu musketeer take up the challenge? Oh, he got shot, didn't he? Pretty sure he got shot. <laughs> the elephant musketeers blew his brains out. Don't worry, I got him. There we go. The city is ours. God. <laughs> nice job, AI. You completely doomed yourself. But that is a... Well, there'll be a bit of a chug, because that's the end of Spain. Was Spain the major faction? Rather, the new Spain will still exist. So let's see how... <laughs> this really is a chug. There we go. So, how badly do they hate us? Minus 34, that's pretty big. Minus uh, 17 of that's clamour for reform. Three of that's religious unrest. So we're going to get rid of this. Let's repair all the government buildings, see how they do. You're going to stay nearby, in case there are raiding forces nearby. Let's get rid of the seminaries, because I don't think... They're not go currently getting any religious happiness from it, so... I may as well knock them down. Not going to rebuild that yet, because there's just line, gu line infantry guards are nearby. I can repair Cartagena. I can. I'm gonna repair the naval hospital because that would be beneficial. Let's upgrade the madrasa. Repair the pleasure gardens. Good. Let's recruit some infantry to act as a garrison of Lisbon. You're still raiding. So we've done most of this stuff. Keep on spending, even in these regions that might not necessarily be quite so profitable for us. They are still our citizens, and it is our duty to give them the most prosperous position in life possible. So you are... Three more first rates will sort you out. I think here as well in Europe it would be good to start building third rates and kind of create some smaller squadrons. Yes, and now the Martinique's now a pirate island. So we're going to take Martinique and then potentially this army is going to take Martinique and then land on land in St. Augustine. Give Louisiana something to worry about. So let's check out that fleet arrives. No, that's not a problem. Trade gained, Mr. Fancy. Fancy. Mention dispatches, dead end of fire, unquitters men, all good stuff. No immediate technology things to be aware of, so it's hit and turn. The Mysore Empire marches on. And there is little they can do to stop us. It will be interesting to see what they do in France about our new arrangement. They're still sending... Well, actually, I think that's another twelve, six, six units, seven units-ish. They're still fortifying Italy. They are afraid of us. And they're ret retreating from our territory. 
Yeah, the Prussia's another... What? Prussia, Russia, that's another whole thing. I just need to... Keep them occupied. Really. Keep them occupied. Keep them busy. Hopefully they will focus on each other. Soon. They will... Their alliance will break down. And then we will take over. So let's see what's, what the next turn brings us. Yeah, blockading. Yeah, that's fine. Lots of new towns. Benghazi and Tripoli. Here, have a craft workshop. Somewhere in Algiers. Here, have a craft workshop and a new farm. Tatooine and Tunis. Here, have a... Have a have a tavern and an iron workshop. Mana and New Andalusia here have a madrasa. Then the army here. Dimas Nadal. Yeah, that's effectively destroyed army. Actually, they, we can we can now leave the city, so keep pursuing them Puerto Cabello get a trading port let's add some do we have how much yeah we had a reasonable amount of coffee but not a huge amount of coffee keep upgrading we can get access to Native American troops which is pretty neat two new Spanish generals Dilip I mean you're just going to auto resolve that pirate attack because pirate armies don't need to worry about them all the time. So they'll probably hate us as well. We need to move... Uh, we need to move agents around. Keep them... Keep converting them to our religion. Build the sloop. Okay. Construction report. Backer's Mansion. So let's take this major fleet. Blockade Accaccio. You may okay. occupy Agle Aglero. Although I may bring... I will actually embark this force. So I can land them off of the coast. And attack Bastia. Although... Yeah, it took a minute to work it out. Good. So Madrid still hates us. If I exempt them from tax, it gets better. Let's try repair the Pleasure Garden. We're likely going to have to deal with an army of some description. Let's not build any Iron Master's Forges and so on yet because it does increase unhappiness. So we're going to keep this army nearby to attack any rebels. Door, I'm going to leave you for now. You're going up to Paris. Letter of demands. Yeah, they're going to they're going to rebel somewhere. And we're going to get a. Well, it depends what they've broken. That's the question. Yours, Vandermark. Let's deploy you in the Channel raiding. I'm not that interested in this fleet. I mean, ultimately, we may end up invading Britain again. But let's see if we can really put a squeeze on the United Provinces. So let's recruit some more ships for a smaller squadron here. Another army in Egypt. So you need some cavalry. Two spare here, one native lancer, one. Get a camel gunner, and then. 
Belaine, although to be honest, that's probably too many more infantry, line infantry to Belaine. Good. Okay. It's a whole lot of stuff that's been done. Let's make sure our your recruitment finished. It's going to take a few more turns. Workers on strike in Spain. Yeah. Keep raiding. Because they're not repairing their navies. And this is, is this our sloop? Princess Carolina. Or Carolina. Is pretty knackered. But I want to see more of these flags go from in good condition to depleted. Blue Guard, Jaeger, Swiss Infantry. I mean, these are all very expensive units. Let's get an agent into... Actually, I've already got one nearby. Infiltrate Amsterdam. See the state of their capital. Food shortages. They're still growing handily. The clamour for reform is still high. Infiltrate Paris. Probably get rid of Mallorca. Or dis dismantle it. Okay, so what are we probably going to... Oh, we're going to need to go on more spending sprees. Although there's only so many top tier mills we're going to afford. Because they are expensive. Okay, let's keep... Let's just do a real blitz on farms and industry. Just make sure things are either top tier or heading that way. I feel we've probably got a lot of palatial estates we need to upgrade. Because palatial estates are kind of less of a priority compared to industry. Generally, when you've got more towns than you can upgrade, you don't need to worry about getting more towns. I suppose that's the way I end up thinking about it. Yeah, that'll be the end of it. 600 odd crash. 121,000. Huge trade book. But ultimately, if we go to war with the continent, we're going to lose trade with Russia and we're going to lose trade with Prussia. So that's collectively nearly 80,000 trade that we're going to lose out on, which is almost all of it. So our tax, I suppose it should do the same in the Americas and in Europe 99,000 but again it's going to help spur growth it's my key criteria so you're here can't do anything okie dokie let's hit and turn uh Lose a second rate, gain three third rates, I think. Yeah, Britain's not going to be taking this lying down. Yeah, that's right, you fall back. Allow us to consolidate our hold. Ultimately, I want to see warning signs they're starting to go bankrupt. And I think we will get it soon once we blockade 
their main port. That's what I want to do. Blockade their main port, cut them off from trade, have fleets in the area ready to deal with a naval engagement if we're forced to pull back, which I don't think we will. I mean, they've got a big, they've got a big combined fleet, but it's not a very good fleet. Looking at swapping units. Now you might not actually be blockading this port, but at least it is broken. Yes, you have to pull men away from the Italian front. <laughs> Look at Prussia. They're def definitely waiting for a navy. They demand Persia and they offer me... I mean, that's a fantastic trade offer. They really want it. Persia, Moldavia... Archangels, and they give me two key, two good technologies plus 83 grand. No. I mean, the Russian Navy, well, we've got a huge amount of European firepower to deal with here. Oh, there we go. I was hoping something like this would happen. Haha! -ha! When looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Battle of Corsica. Cheers, everyone.